Uh, Mr. Charnitsky, thank you very much for this opportunity to speak to Azerbaijan delegation. And as an Azerbaijan delegation, we are very interested in uh, knowing your position uh, concerning the relations between European Parliament of, uh, and Azerbaijan, because as Azerbaijan delegation, our main goal is to increase and to deepen our relations with the members of the European Parliament, because Azerbaijan is located in the South Caucasus, you know. This is a very important region for the European Union. Energy security is very important, and we would like to see more prosperous and more stable, secure region of the South Caucasus in the immediate neighborhood of the European Union. And I think that European Parliament can play a very important role in helping our region to achieve more stable, more prosperous uh, region. What's your take on this, please? Firstly, uh, thank you much indeed for your um, coming here, for your presence, because uh, I think it's a very good opportunity for our side, for my colleagues from the European Parliament, uh, uh, which, very frankly speaking, I'm not a diplomat, which uh, their knowledge about uh, South uh, uh, Caucasus oh, and uh, especially in Azerbaijan, is not too big. Uh, it's a pity, but it's the fact. Uh, uh, I have been more than 10 times in your country, but uh, I think the huge majority uh, of members of the European Parliament never been in, in Azerbaijan. Uh, Unfortunately. And, uh, uh, yes, uh, and I think uh, this visit, uh, like, visit like this, is the very good chance for us, for us, for a change of views, for, for the... Uh, uh, direct information from the source, um, uh, and uh, I think it's the um, really good uh, good opportunity for a very frank conversation uh, about our relations, about uh, maybe, truly speaking, some mites, some stereotypes yes. uh, in our relations. Uh, maybe, frankly speaking, for sure, the, the um, uh, imagination, the uh, vision. Uh, of Azerbaijan, uh, of some of my colleagues here, is uh, false. Uh, and uh, your presence is the good chance for uh, showing uh, uh, members of the European Parliament real picture of, of uh, Azerbaijan and, uh, and uh, your region. Uh, exactly. uh, Azerbaijan is a very stable country. It's important for the European Union. Uh, uh, it's, uh, uh, and economically number one in your region. It's also a uh, very crucial uh, momentum for us. Uh, and especially now during the uh, 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 energy crisis, yes. uh, Azerbaijan uh, must be, not can be, must be a uh, very important partner. It's our interest, but frankly, I think the common interest. Exactly. Um, also, uh, I'm from Poland, uh, and uh, uh, for me, uh, Azerbaijan has uh, a special position because, uh, uh, for example, my compatriots uh, create, uh, has created the architecture of Baku, for example. Exactly. Uh, and uh, we have uh, partly, uh, maybe not the same, but uh, similar experience, the exactly. communism, the, the uh, Soviet time, etc. And I think uh, the understanding of Azerbaijan, of uh, my compatriots, is um, for sure bigger than uh, our partners from France, Netherlands, Germany, Austria, uh, etc. And uh, I think uh, also uh, uh, security uh, issue is uh, also very, very important. good subject yeah. of uh, our conversation, uh, not only in the uh, level of, of European Council uh, or European Commission, but also uh, uh, our interparliamentary dialogue is uh, really, really uh, important, and I would like say thank you very much indeed for, yes. for your coming. Very good point, because Azerbaijan, as you have rightly mentioned, Azerbaijan is is very important player in the South Caucasus and is one of the reliable, stable partners of the, uh, partner of the United, uh, European Union. And in this case, 
the role of Azerbaijan is becoming even more important in terms of the energy crisis, energy security. Also, as a key player, Azerbaijan is connecting east with the west. You know, this middle corridor that is becoming more and more important also for the European Union. And Azerbaijan is located right on the heart of this very important transport corridor, which connects east with the west. You know, the, this uh, the corridor, middle corridor, uh, will uh, will become even more important, will be increasing its capacity because uh, currently the crisis in a political security crisis, energy crisis that we are facing in the European continent makes us to rethink, to reconsider our position. And that's why I would, I would also uh, appreciate if you uh, uh, share your views about the European Union and the members of the European Parliament vis-a-vis -vis to the uh, middle corridor. What's the take? What's your take on this subject? Well, a uh, very good uh, question, very good uh, uh, point for our dialogue. Uh, now, I think uh, everybody, or almost everybody, knows that it's very important and useful. But I remember, uh, truly speaking, uh, uh, 20 years ago, 15 years ago especially, uh, only uh, uh, few people or, or few countries thought about it. Uh, I would like to uh, say about the role of former president of Poland, yes. Mr. Lech Kaczynski, which died in the uh, air crash in Russia uh, in April 2010, and uh, his very good personal relationship with your president, Ilham Aliyev. Exactly. And uh, this uh, uh, statements, 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 uh, 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 now this time that it's very important and uh, uh, very useful for both sides, not only for Poland, not only for our uh, Central Eastern Europe, but whole Europe, whole European Union, but also obviously for Azerbaijan in, in uh, South uh, uh, Caucasus. Uh, and uh, uh, Mr. Aliyev, Mr. Kaczynski, presidents of uh, two our countries, uh, work very hard for, for this initiative. And I am very happy uh, that now uh, European elites uh, understood that it's yeah. a very important factor. Yeah. Before giving the floor to my colleagues, I would like to say that we have very important projects via Carpathia Road, Middle Corridor, exactly, exactly. Now the Zengizer Corridor that we are uh, working on it. These, all these projects are very important for the connection, for the transport connectivity. And I think that the European Union members of the EU, European Parliament must focus, must give more attention to these projects for the benefit of both EU and Azerbaijan. Uh, maybe uh, Sevil Mikhailova, my colleague, will ask uh, some um, uh, questions also. Uh, Sevil Khan, what, 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 have, what do you have to say? What, what's your take on this regional cooperation issues, energy security or uh, the security, overall security in our region? Please. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Tural. I want to say that uh, after regaining independence, uh, Azerbaijan actually has enforced uh, its efforts in the direction of for better relations with the European Union. And after 30 years of these efforts, we can say bravely that we have very good relations uh, because energy security is the major direction in our cooperation. But we can uh, mention here communication. We can mention here uh, humanitarian uh, section, which is also very important bringing nations together and I want to mention here especially our vice president's uh, efforts uh, to push the soft diplomacy uh, Ms. Mehriban Aliyeva actually realized very big projects in the European Union and also Azerbaijan was host to the European Games as you remember in 2015 which, is, yeah. which was very uh, important page in yes. the relations between EU and Azerbaijan. Uh, so, Mr. Charnetsky, I would like to attract your attention uh, to the potential that we are having uh, for playing bigger role uh, in the life of the European Union. So, um, how do you see the future? Uh, what are the obstacles and how we as parliamentarians can play our role uh, so in these two directions, using the potential and eliminating the obstacles? Well, uh, I remember time of first uh, uh, lady, which was uh, British Prime Minister, Margaret Thatcher, 
Iron Lady and very, very, very famous uh, uh, words of Madame Thatcher, uh, Tina. What means Tina? There is no alternative. <laughs> <laughs> my answer for you, there is no alternative for our closer ties. And especially the parliaments, the European Parliament and your Parliament has uh, an extremely important role because, totally speaking, the, um, uh, our mandate and our uh, possibility of activity is practically bigger than uh, more official European Commission or especially uh, the representation of uh, 27 uh, EU member states, uh, European Council. And uh, we can um, propose uh, some ideas, promote some ideas, uh, and uh, European Commission and your government, your president, uh, can be executor uh, for, for this uh, agenda, for these issues, for, the, for these ideas. We should uh, speak about very concrete a time and situation in the world and in Europe. Uh, we have a very uh, big hot potato, very big problem in Eastern Europe. Yeah. Now about the uh, big war between Russia and Ukraine, biggest war after the Second World War. Yeah. Uh, and uh, now the uh, Europe and your country uh, you, your country is the part of Europe, uh, uh, must uh, find the uh, political and economical answer for the situation. And I think it's the good reason, or maybe excuse, for our closer cooperation in many fields, not only energy uh, sector, uh, but uh, also uh, political uh, uh, level. Why? Because, I can repeat, uh, we must have very stable partners uh, outside of EU. Yes. Azerbaijan is a very good example, very stable uh, government, very stable economy, uh, and uh, it's, uh, uh, for us is the partner from the dream. Yes. Yeah. And, and it's uh, my open invitation for uh, closer um, uh, links with the, our parliament, uh, uh, more uh, uh, meetings, uh, more conference, more seminar, uh, uh, more personal relationships, uh, because I think it's the uh, very useful, uh, not uh, only for our side or your side, but uh, we can say about common interest. Yes, Mr. Czarnecki, you have mentioned exactly Azerbaijan is a reliable partner. We would like uh, to bring peace, stability, uh, well-being to our region. And we would like to see the Caspian Sea, this, the region of South Caucasus, to be a place of collaboration, not a place of confrontation. And exactly. in this uh, context, in this regard, we would like to see more support for the, from the European Parliament, from the members of the European Parliament. Mm. So this is kind of our vision and the vision of our government, the vision of our president exactly. is to be a good partner, uh, to have more close relations with the EU. And as for the parliamentarians, we are also looking forward to have more engagement with the Euro <coughs> European Parliament. Uh, absolutely, totally agree with you. And, and uh, uh, more few words. Uh, now I, I talked about it, uh, we, we, we have the war. But uh, we should uh, think and speak not only how win the war, but how win the peace. Exactly. How win the peace. Very good point. And we uh, should find together peaceful solution for long term. Exactly. Absolutely agree. Mm -hmm. uh, so maybe you can <coughs> ask any question you, if you Charles, have. Thank you very much. So as you know, we had a war three years ago, and one of the biggest challenge for Azerbaijan is landmines problem. And Azerbaijani people, the civilians, continue to be killed and maimed by landmines planted by Armenia. And I have some statistics, I would sound it here. Since the trilateral statement, about 130 incidents of landmine explosion took place in Azerbaijan. And 291 people fell victim to mine explosions. And Azerbaijan has allocated around 200 
million US dollar towards landmine clearance efforts. And we value Europeans, European Union's assistance towards humanitarian demining efforts in the country. Azerbaijan believes that more international efforts could be invested in the field of mine action. So in this case, we have several strategic partners in the European Union, in, and one of, one of these countries is your country, Poland. In this case, I would ask you how can we work together with Poland to help Azerbaijan to clean their area from landmines, do you have ideas how can we intensify our cooperation? Yeah, it's really important. Uh, firstly, I would like to congratulate your country because you have very, very active ambassador. Uh, she's a woman uh, in, in, in Poland. Uh, uh, I think that uh, Poland has a special role in the European Union because uh, I think uh, generally Poles uh, better know uh, uh, Azerbaijan than uh, many Western people. Uh, and uh, we know the history of Azerbaijan, um, sometimes dramatic history, long, but sometimes difficult. Uh, and uh, we know uh, uh, political circumstances uh, of your country during uh, last century. Uh, and um, I think our knowledge can be useful here in Strasbourg, in, in, in Brussels, uh, for uh, European Union elites. Uh, and, uh, uh, well, uh, I'm ho I hope, I hope, it's my dream, that uh, this uh, conflict uh, in South Caucasus uh, uh, will be not like copy of a uh, very, very extremely long uh, conflict in the uh, Middle East. Yes. Uh, mm, uh, I think the, uh, I hope that clever politicians uh, uh, from Azerbaijan, but also from Armenia, uh, will find the peaceful solution. Uh, I know about the tragic, uh, you said about it, the tragic information about the uh, that uh, innocent people, civilians, uh, and uh, it's the very uh, bad uh, information, bad message, but maybe it can be the start of the more intensive, uh, not only dialogue, but uh, real activity in the political diplomatic level. Uh, and uh, uh, I am very glad that, for example, concretely speaking, that uh, the mm, uh, president of European Council, former uh, Prime Minister of Belgium, uh, Charles Michel, is, is very active in your exactly. region. Yeah. Uh, and uh, many meetings with uh, uh, your uh, government. Uh, and uh, uh, truly, I think he focused especially for, for uh, your region, and uh, I think it's the very good example of positive activity of uh, of uh, our exactly. European Union. Yeah. Mm, uh, well, and and uh, finally uh, speaking, uh, last words. Uh, I'm uh, optimistic uh, because uh, I think now I can compare because I'm here in the European Parliament since 2004, and now the knowledge and also good political will in this house, in the European Union, is absolutely bigger than five, ten years uh, or 15 years ago. Exactly. It's very important. And, and, and uh, I see many common platforms of, of dialogue, not only blah, blah, blah speaking, but also yes. a, a real decision. Yes, dear colleagues, here I would like to wrap up our conversation. Of course, you have rightly mentioned the role of Charles Michel, the role of EU. We are hoping to and looking forward to the positive outcome of the negotiations that are going to be uh, after a few days with the participation of the EU President Council Charles Michel and the leaders of Azerbaijan and Armenia. It is about time that we have reached final peace deal. Uh, if we 
reciprocally recognize each other's territorial integrity. If we refrain from claiming the territory of foreign country, of course, there will be peace, there will be justice, and we do support this cause. And we do thank you very much for your open and frank uh, thoughts and for the conversation. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank it's you. my privilege to be here. Thank you.